Hello. Hello. Welcome to Sisters in Wally's YouTube. You to the YouTube. So we're back. I don't know if you can guess what we're doing today. RMS. Um. So basically, we're going to do a little film on RMS, which. Oh, I don't know. We'll, we'll find out in a minute. Yeah. So today's a really cool video because we've actually got two guys who service, who work for RMSM, who are going to join us in about 30 seconds. And they're going to talk us through the parlour and all things that they do, basically. So just to explain it, RMS is the company um, that we've got our parlour with. So if you go back to right the start of our YouTube, we did a par uh, video all about our parlour and RMS is the company that service it for us yeah so our parlor is gear parlor and rms and are a company that work with that parlor setting so they fitted the parlor for us so they put the installed the parlor and everything like that if we ever have a problem with the parlor if the parlor won't start or um touch wood we've never had any major issues but like if the wash didn't go or something like that it would be rms we'd ring and they'd come out and fix the problem and put it all to go again um and yeah at the start we on. rang them quite a lot because we had no idea what we were doing <laughs> Not so clear. um yeah there was one guy tom give him a shout out because he was amazing and we would ring him quite a lot being like we don't know how to work this button and he'd talk us through it so yeah they're very like technical and then yeah what they do is they come out once a year and they service our parlor for us so that's what we're going to be talking about today see you in a minute so we're in the parlor shed now um so here we have aaron and fred <laughs> you do just have to guess which one is which. <laughs> so yeah, they're both mega keen to be here with us today. <laughs> no, we are very, very grateful. So they came here to save us on parlor, not to be on YouTube. So we're very grateful that they've um, agreed to this. Um, so yeah, what we're going to do is going to flip the camera now and Pops and Aaron are going to run us through everything that they're doing. First question, what's our message for? Uh, refrigeration, maintenance, and sales. Um, that's sort of the another side of the company. Obviously, we sort of do yeah, the, the, the dairy, also, so. yeah, refrigeration, do the tanks and everything. But we also do obviously the dairy parlors. Oh, there we are. Because we were sitting in the van yeah. and we were like, <laughs> "Oh, I'm not for it's And then we were like, "You don't know." Refrigeration, maintenance, and sales. Right. So that's yeah. everything you cover, basically. Maintenance is what you're doing today. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. We got yeah. obviously the refrigeration division, the electrical division, and then the dairy division, which obviously does all the, uh, okay. all the parlors. Oh, nice. Right, so, so you're here today to do a service. So, yes. am I right in saying you do that once a year? Yeah, yeah. So, ideally, it needs to be one, uh, once a year. Um, is that for every size parlor, or does it depend? Yes, yeah. Minimum, they recommend Farmer Assurance normally red tractor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's what they recommend. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Right, and then what about the maintenance? Do you do maintenance as well? Yeah, that's what we do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Should be should be serviced and tested, ISO tested to the standards. Um, some farms, if they're a bit, if they, if they do a lot of milking, then they they do it every six months maybe. Oh, all okay. Beneficial. Yeah. It, all, it all depends on size of the parlour and their herd size. And that is just to benefit us and the cows. Yes. To make sure everything's running right. Yes, that's right. Yeah, yeah. You don't want to cause any damage to no. the cow to eat it. Well, really, tell, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Well, I think what we'll do is we'll go in there and roughly, because obviously me and Josie milk in the parlour, but we don't do anything with the technical side. So there's loads of different parts that go towards actually milking the cow, um, which is what you're here to make sure everything's running right. So I'm going to walk us through now. You usually have a bit of routine of where you start and what you'd look at first? Um, or... Normally the basics, which would be uh, your important stuff, like the regulator, uh, the vacuum pump and the milk, milk pump. That's your main basics. Yeah. Uh, that's what we start with. Um, and then we just sort of go around the whole of the parlour and then just check that everything's working as it should. Uh, we sort of know roughly sort of how long stuff lasts. Just, yeah, you know, know so, what so we sort of know yeah. what, what, what needs sort of replacing as, as, as and when. Um, so that's what we start off with. And then obviously you go through, just go through the whole parlour with claws, meters, pulsators, they're sort of done every couple of years maybe, it all depends. So 
So if you see something a little bit, oh, okay, that's warm, then you use the time to change it. That's right, yeah, it. yeah. And again, you might find you've got issues. That's something we can look at as well. In, yeah, you know, yeah, so. it's handy because we've had a bit of a dodgy gate. It's not been open <laughs> very well. And our iodine spray isn't working. So it's like an ideal time. We just tell Aaron, oh, these are our problems. And we're just nothing on it. Just like, I got <laughs> planning our problems. We just, yeah. <laughs> okay, we just like, we've got to save this soon, so we'll just ignore it for two weeks. <laughs> yeah, literally. <laughs> no, but um, it's a good time, isn't it? It's a good time to get stuff Yeah, at, definitely. Uh, what is private up to then? Should we go into these? Right, well, so um, uh, we've basically done all our servicing so far. Oh. Uh, pretty much. So what Fred's doing now is starting the ISO test. So you've done, you've gone through the whole parlour and you've done everything you need to do, yeah. and now you're yeah. testing that. And now we're yeah yeah. Right. yeah, yeah. And now we're doing the yeah. for the farm assurance and the red tractor has to be tested. Um, after the service is the best time to do it because yeah, it's because um, then you you check that everything you've taken apart has gone back together right and everything's yeah. working. So. That's the best time. Um, so what Fred's doing now is he's testing all the pulsators. Okay. To make sure they're all pulsing correctly and the vacuum levels are all correct. So each, does each unit have its own type of pulsator? Yes, on this system, some of them can be doubled up depending on the, the setup of the, oh, okay. the equipment, basically. Yeah. Um, but yeah, on this one, you've got one pulsator per unit. Um, right. We have to literally go on so it goes in every single one and just check that all the pulse graphs are working correctly. Shall we go in then? So I'm looking at these plugs and I'm quite intrigued to know how it works. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. yeah so I don't know if everyone can see, um, there's plugs on each of the. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it'd just be vacuum underneath. Oh, well, that one, I think that's not a good start, is it? <laughs> <laughs> so should they all be working Yeah, out? yeah. Have you got one? Yeah. Okay, so there you go. There's an issue with that one. We've not got vacuum. Oh. There we go, that one. So this is why it's really good that they test it before they go because obviously if we started milking tonight and we didn't have any vacuum we would be in a bit of a pickle and then we'd have to ring them they'd have to come back out and it's all just a big fat waste of money um so yeah it's really good that they test it for us and obviously like joe said they know what they're doing so yeah they'll work it out in no time and there's nothing worse than when something's going wrong and you're just on camera yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Normally when we when we test we just start the parlour up, they all go in the wash um, and then you've got back into the floor. You've got the computer connected so they've changed the setting so oh. when you start the parlour up in wash you don't have back into the floor. That's what's right. confused us. Right. That's so all. you have to actually start. So now we got now we've got to start and, and put them into manual. Then, uh, oh, no, yeah. Yeah, you now I've got to restart my post there. Yeah, no, it's got to start. <laughs> 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 Sorry? Did you know Gareth was coming? Sorry? Did you know Gareth was coming? No, no, no. Again, uh, you know, I told... Um, oh, our, he's here to fix our iodine. That was quick server. That was quick server. There you go. So, what you want, you get with Arma. <laughs> Pass the message on and one turns up. How good is that? <laughs> so that is um, a good advertisement of how quick RMS works. <laughs> 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 that the service is pretty fast. Right, anyway, let's keep going. So the plugs are used to isolate each one so you can test them all individually, yeah? Yeah, yeah. so we're testing the pulsators, um, which are obviously sat at the top there. Um, and we're simulating milking, basically, by putting the teeth plugs in. Oh, okay, so, yeah. Ah, uh, oh, yeah, that makes your, sense, uh, yeah. The graph. So That's the unit like thinks there's a teeth in there, is there? Yes, yeah. Because yeah. if you took one out, does it look like a... Yeah, but it would be sucking vacuum. So what does 
Yeah. Obviously, the pulsators are there to massage the teeth, so yeah. um, they're not working correctly, um, then causing teeth and damage, or some, you know, they won't milk out properly. So yeah, that's yeah. a good point. So it's really important that it's right, basically, for the teeth health of the cow, because yeah. you can get like um, blisters and all sorts of horrible things happen if it's wrong. So this guy is fixing our. Iodine That's the milk pump and the seals um, need to be sort of changed once a year. Normally they're pretty pretty good. Um, but that's an important part. Okay. Uh, obviously that transfers the milk from the system to your bolt tank. So okay. So if I wasn't here the milk was basically just set and it wouldn't be able yeah, to. Yeah, you won't you won't clear it and then eventually it will overfill and then the ball will go up and then you'll stop the it'll cut off the vacuum. So and has this just been cleaned or is it new? It is just been cleaned, yeah. So, <laughs> so it looks So it new. has been serviced. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's so. not a good service. It was looking quite dirty. Because I don't mind thinking that can't get wet or it's not supposed to get It's too an wet. electric motor underneath, you can't see, but um, it's, it's an electric motor. So it's important that we try so to keep it dry, that's why it's got to cover. Keep it dry, yeah. And so you just went in there and serviced it, that's definitely what yeah, we Yeah, all we need touch. to do is take, take the head apart and then uh, just replace the seals, clean it all up, make sure everything okay. looks good. Nice. Uh, nice. And yeah. like, obviously, because this is like a fairly new pilot, there shouldn't really be any major problems, but it's just important that you just give it a sweep, just make sure everything's... Yes, yeah, yeah. Basically, yeah, yeah. It's all, all the working equipment. Um, they're all, all the serviceable items. Uh, you know, your, your cluster, it's got serviceable items, it's got seals in between. They can just they just break down over time due to the chemical and stuff. So, so have you looked all of them? Since yeah, then? yeah. You, oh, you, I mean, because you, you, the bowls are clear, you can you can see the seal in the middle. Sometimes they just wear away and yeah. break apart, um, and then you sort of get get milk inside, and then it becomes. Yeah, milk. I don't know if anyone's ever left like a bottle of milk in your car or something, but it goes in your car. Horrible, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah. <laughs> like curdling, like, like a, yeah, it curdles. Yeah, yeah. Like so that would happen in there then. If yeah, you yeah. Know, so, and milk. obviously, that's an important part, you know, because you don't you don't want any bacteria getting in contact with the milk. So, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, and then you've got sensors. Yeah. They have diaphragms and valves in. Um, they get changed periodically. Um, it does vary from farm to farm. Like uh, you're not milking very many cows here. 200 cows? Yeah. Yeah. 200. yeah. So on a part of this size, you know, we probably wouldn't expect to replace that every year. It's Maybe it, that that's it. Yeah. Yeah. There's just so many like yeah little technical bits and pieces that like you don't even think of and you, yeah you know where to come and look and keep on top of them. I suppose. Yeah, that's yeah. it. So obviously if we come every year, we would always check them, and if they need doing, we'd obviously repair them. You can tell because they're clear silicon. When they wear, they become white. Aww, so that's a, that's okay. a good telltale yeah. sign, really. Uh, so would you ever find like because you come once a year say you came today and you were like oh they're fine but in about six months they probably won't be yeah or then would you say like passing the message in six months they might need to be changed or would it usually just land on the year um normally we would just um yeah just leave it for the for the next time yeah um if they were close to being done in the next few months we probably would, would do them anyway um yeah. nice. and there's a lot of filters on this system Look, clean airline filter for the pulsators that's your breather okay yeah uh, if they become too blocked uh, it can affect the pulsation result yeah, again it's just giving it a clean putting fresh filters in I didn't even know those filters yeah, existed. Yeah, I've seen that before, but I've never questioned what it is. <laughs> now I'm like, oh, interesting. So that's just making sure our milk is as clean as possible, is there? Or is it making sure that uh, everything in the parlour works? It, it's making sure the pulsator work vents oh, okay. correctly. Yeah, because obviously when it's opening and closing, when it closes, it, that's your rest phase, so it goes to atmospheric pressure. So that's your breather, because it sort of right. almost sucks in a bit of vacuum. And okay. then obviously when you're feeding, all the dust 
from the feeders quite often gets airborne and, and it sort of sucks it in and then if it blocks it up you won't get a good pulse on, on the cluster. Gosh, so, yeah. can affect everything. Yeah, yeah you can see how everything could just break down if it wasn't like Captain Copper. Yes. And yeah. like we wouldn't know it to start. <laughs> yeah. Like, um, <laughs> Well, it's a massive bit of machinery, really. I know it's not a machine, but you know what I mean. Like, you get your car serviced in MOTs, don't you? Yeah, yes, exactly. yeah. And it's a massive piece of equipment. Do you know what? Someone did say that to us when we were switching parlours. They were like, this is the machine you use the most. You're going to try to stay every single day. And, like, your tractors, you're constantly putting the diesel, greasing and everything. And then your parlour tends to, you know, you just, like, use it. You don't really think about it. So, yeah, it it's is important really important. To look after it. Yeah. Is that everything in here? Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, pretty much. Right, that's the venture into this place. I think when we put the parlour in, this is the most intimidating room because it's got so many like electrical wires and lights and all going on. On the side. <laughs> <laughs> like I came to pay. <laughs> on Saturday night, you're going to be really impressed, the um, feeders working. So we've got two sides, the feeders working four blocks, so six. 12, 24, what's next? What's 36? 36. Yeah, 48. And the first tile feeders weren't working, so they just weren't feeding the cows. So I came in here, went into this box, changed the fuse, and then they started. Wow! Gosh, I am quite impressed. <laughs> <laughs> what, so you just did that off your own back? No, I ran Tom. Ah, oh, but still. And he spoke to me over the phone. Well, I need to clarification because like that is quite daunting. I don't know when I actually keep myself. Oh, no, I ran him and I said, I'm pretty sure we've done it before. Can I like kill myself? He said no, as long as I turn this off. Uh, this off. Um, that's what I did. And then I That's like the safety switch. That's it. Yeah, I think that's about you. The good thing is a lot of the stuff is all low voltage. All the oh, equipment, okay. you know, they, yes, they've got mains, but there's usually transformers which turn it all the low voltage, 12 volts, 24, all that. So, you know, if you do get a shock, it's not, it's yeah, not, it's not so bad. Kill it's, me. Yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> so Tom, that is actually really good to know. <laughs> yeah, that is good to know, because I was worried. So in here, that's your vacuum pump. No, and yeah. And that obviously produces the vacuum to milk at the cluster. Uh, but luckily, you've got it on variable speed, so it's a lot quieter than they would normally be. Yeah. Normally, they're running full speed and they're really loud. So, um, yeah, but nice that is that sort of saves quite a bit. Let's fill our box here. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's your variable speed unit. So that, depending if you need more vacuum, if you need more vacuum, it will speed up the pump to produce more. Obviously, once you've got to your set vacuum level, it will go back down. So that's probably saving us electricity and like probably saving the parlour. Yeah, 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 exactly. I mean, I can show you, if I just take this vacuum test tube off, you'll see. Gosh. Yeah. So yeah. The more air being let in, the more vacuum it will speed it up to compensate, basically. Okay. Yeah. Alright, um, so to service it, <coughs> service it, we um, just check the belts, quite a key thing, they've got belts underneath this guard, um, check the belts, make sure the tension's okay and there's no cracks and they're in good condition, um, and then your oil is quite important, um, we just usually just give it a bit of a clean and then check the drops, so it's just to keep everything lubricated to wire up. See the oil and the colour change. So that's checking your level. So you just basically tap all of that and be able to Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just cleaned it all out, what we normally do, put fresh filters in, there's little filters in the droppers. Oh yeah. Yeah, so it's just generally check it all over. Yeah, to be fair, everything does work. You can tell it's been done so everything looks nice and clean and fresh and yeah. That up there is your backup regulator. Okay. 
made. Um, I'm, not, I'm not actually sure of this stuff yet, so I want to check it first. Um, when, we, when we do our testing, I'll bring it in at the last just to make sure it's working correctly. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you do that as and then, part of so, that. Uh, yeah, yeah. So once the test is done, we will service it. It will be done, but I just want to check, check that it's working properly. Yeah. All right. All right. Um, Gareth, do you mind if you accidentally end up on YouTube? <laughs> as part of the video. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You've accidentally volunteered yourself by coming. <laughs> <laughs> but you have done a really good job Sorry. of advertising our MS because you were so quick. So. <laughs> So you guys picked up a problem with the gate and then Gareth come out to fix it, is that right? Yes, yeah, pretty much, yeah. Um, if, we, if I had the parts on the van, obviously, we, and we had the time, we'd obviously um, repair it on site. Yeah. But um, we, we found the fault, pulled it in, and then obviously Gareth's available, so he's come out. And he's having a great time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Nice. The gate wouldn't work at all. I blanked that one off because no. it was leaking through and then it worked. So. Ah. So it's good because you, yeah, detach things like that, things that we wouldn't know. Our relief milker Amanda isn't going to know herself tonight. Yeah. <laughs> With the iodine working and the new gate. <laughs> it's going to be a right breeze. Bro, well, thank you very much, Gareth. Yeah, well, fun. See, he's just driving it out of hand. Yeah. So just check to see if I've got any grease it up. And nice. Future will be fine after. I do. Thank you. So we're now in the well, we call it the dairy. Yeah. Um, because obviously there's quite a lot of servicing goes on in here as well, isn't there? Yes. Yeah. 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 You've got uh, your plant washer, automatic plant washer. Um, so that controls all these valves, so it will wash itself. Um, but there's serviceable stuff inside, uh, seals need doing, normally once a year. Generally it's all because we got the chemical in the water. Oh, of course, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, we've also replaced the, I don't know if you'll see it, the, there's like a pressure boot. Oh, sorry. I'm in the That's it, show. yeah. So oh, that, yeah. 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 Because <laughs> it sits in the water. And the chemical a lot, it, it, it sort of um, breaks down quite quickly. Yeah. Um, so that's something we normally check and replace as and when. Um, yeah. It does yeah, vary. so all the kind of automatic electrical stuff looks after itself to a degree, is it? And then you're doing all yeah. like the little. All the components, really, yeah. That's the way yeah. Nice. nice. So it's a lot of just taking things apart, chucking it and putting it back together, is it? Yeah, yeah. Anything that's got serviceable items, um, we, we generally just check, just check that they're all working and that all the condition inside is all good. Oh, oh I like this one a bit dodgy. <laughs> um, obviously, it's because it's all mad, you've also got a chemical pump, which are on the other side. Um, they got tubes, but they're pretty, pretty good. Tubes. Oh, as in the ones in the actual tank. Yeah, for your, for your dosage, yeah. These ones, I'm assuming these ones here, is it? Yeah, that's the ones. Yeah. yeah, of course. That all relates. So do you have a certain order that you do everything in, or do you just head on in and do whatever you see first? Yeah, uh, like, yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, just whatever we feel, really. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> and you're doing um, it so often, you probably just know what you're doing. Like yeah. if it was me, I'd be like, oh no, I forgot to do that on the way home. But like, I don't do it. So. Yeah, there's a reason you're not doing that. Yeah, so generally our regular ones, you sort of know what you're looking for, what you intend tend to service, um, which is, that's what you start with. And then once you've done all that, you then go around and just start checking. Check. Everything else is working smoothly and, you know, because you do find other of a fault yeah, while definitely. you're yeah so is the tank then that's a whole separate thing is it you don't do anything with the tank on no, the service no yeah on the service no on the on the bulk tank that's normally refrigeration side yeah that's um, the r in rms that's, that's the r, r in rms, RMS. yeah <laughs> <You're the M. laughs> yeah they come out separately and then they do their own little service on uh, on the tank so there we go
Ideal. So we're very well looked after is the moral of the story, really. Yeah. It's nice to not have to. Like, it is a nice feeling to know you've got a service because you just feel confident then that everything's going to run as it should and we don't need to worry about it. Yeah, yeah. That's it. I mean, it's... Yeah. Because we do find faults and then you'll notice a difference. Yeah. You know. Definitely. So no, it is worth nice. keeping it up together, you, you know. Because, yeah, well, we have to do it for farmer short Yeah, yeah. my tractor, yeah. yeah. But it shows, like, to it be honest, you have proven why it's so important to do it. Because I think we have naturally only ever really done it because of farmer short, but then you can see why they make us do yeah. it. Yeah, and I think in the long run, you actually probably save money by replacing things before they break, isn't it? Yes, yeah, yeah. There's no sort of uh, emergency breakdown. Yeah. Where, where you're waiting to milk, you might anticipate any any breakdowns before they actually happen. Yeah. Um, the worst thing you want is cows waiting in the yard because the milk pump won't pump, you know. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. the seals are gone or something, you know. Yeah. Yeah, that could have been avoided. Nice. Should we go and see how far it's going on? <laughs> yeah, I think he's probably done now. Um, <laughs> Hi, Fred. All right. How are you getting on? Well, better now. It's, uh, at least we've got some black in there and some pulsation <laughs> working, but yeah. Yeah, it's in right so far. Yeah. So what do you do? You plug, plug it into there? Yeah, oh, so I just um, save it and then I'll take these off, smash the pulsation and I'll put it on another one over here. And then we test the pulsation. You get a little graph and Aaron can walk you through the graph because he knows more about it than me, but take the pulse tube off, connect it onto your little test machine. Um, yeah. I should make even that look easy. I've had to take one of them apart before. Then, uh, Didn't find it that easy. Then, yeah, you sort of nice. just test the pulsation. Yeah. To link up to the front two. Yeah, because you've got split split side pulsation. It's oh, only, okay. So this one will be to pulse in the same rate as this one. Oh, okay. You've got sort of two tubes come down, and one goes to this side, one goes to that side. Nice. I mean, that's either side of your pulsation, but you know a bit more about that than me, mate. Okay, so that's your pulse graph. Um, yeah. That is your uh, the pulsator is opening, closing the liner, and that is what what. It, it's doing to the liner. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that line oh. going up is your, what we call the A phase, um, which is the opening phase. Right, okay. So that is the liner inside oh, interesting. opening. Yeah. And then the line at the top is your milking phase, your B phase, and then that is the amount of time it is open for. Right. And then, and then you've got your closing phase, which is the line down, and then your rest phase. Right, okay. Yeah, A, B, C, D. Uh, your rest phase is when it's closed. Yeah. So the vacuum is making the liner open and close. Right. And that's what massages. And then that's the vacuum on the out. end of the, on the uh, T end is just to draw the milk away. Cool, so you're just testing it, so it will so quite clearly one, say... Uh, testing each one to make sure that uh, all the pulsators are working correctly. Yeah. It's not actually how technical this job is. Like, you think of agriculture, everything being, like, dirty and really, like... Do you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, perhaps? I know what you're trying to say. Like, when people think about farms, you probably think of, like, muck and poo and all that kind of stuff. But this just proves that obviously we're producing a food and yeah, welfare and health and cleanliness is the most important factor in that. Yeah, yeah. and it's all very technical and yeah. yeah. Like we said, me and Pops wouldn't be able to do it. You have to be some sort of parlor scientist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which is sort of Brad and Aaron are. <laughs> Would you regard yourself as a scientist? No. 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 What about a parlor scientist? <laughs> We used to be, I think we used to be engineers, dairy oh, engineers yeah. would oh, be engineer, our technical term. Yeah. But now everything's got so technical. You're more of a technician now, you know, it's, it's okay. a bit yeah. more. Yeah, got some things in it. Yeah, have you found then it's like changed a lot? How long have you been doing it? I've been doing this for 18 years. Wow. Yeah, working with RMS. Um, 
started with them and still going so but yeah I, I sort of specialize on the service and testing side of it really um, and has it changed a lot with like the technical side or yeah everything's got a lot more technical a lot more electronics there's a lot yeah. more electronics involved now so um, do you think that's good though like have you seen an improvement in the way people are producing food and milk and because everything's become so technical, or...? Um, it, it helps, and the, the equipment's more reliable, I, I'd say, yeah, you know, with, the, with the electronics, and, um, uh, yeah, everything's a bit more simplified. Yeah, well, the we whole find... process is simplified by the electronics, really, so... Yeah, yeah, definitely. Like, for us, having, like, the collars and all the technicalities that come with that, like, the bullying and picking up the illness and all, we obviously find that so helpful to like keep in of the cows. Yeah. And, like we don't really need to interfere with them much, and it's yeah, picks up for us. So things like that we find really good. So but, yeah. you've been with RMS for 18 years. How many times have you been on YouTube? It's my first time. <laughs> <laughs> first time. Yeah. Well, you've been oh, amazing. Like, thank you so much for bringing us round. Yeah, I've definitely learned you. a lot. Hopefully you have as well. Yeah, I have. And um, yeah, Brad and Aaron have done an awesome job. And we're really happy. So Yeah, thank you. We'll let you That's carry fun. on. Stop harassing you. <laughs> you can relax. <laughs> <laughs> you can go home and chill. <laughs> well. They've come in force. RMS. Refrigeration, maintenance and sales. Well done, Poppy. <laughs> <laughs>